What's up, guys? This is Conrad on Wild 94.9, the Bay's number one hit music station. Wild 94.9's Jingle Ball. Wild 94.9, we are backstage at Jingle Ball with Conrad. Hey, my first Jingle Ball. This is your first Jingle Ball? Yeah, we don't have these things in Australia. Well, that makes two of us. It's Look our close. first one, too. Really? That's, yeah. This is the first <laughs> one in the Bay Area. This, and you're here. Yeah, this is my first one. Yeah, Very excited. It's I'm amazing. Kinda, I'm so jealous. Can I touch your hair? Yeah, of course. It's nice. That's what it's mine. there for. Selena, I was going to ask him about that, your <laughs> hair. Well, it'd be kind of awkward if I wanted to touch your hair, but how long have you been growing that hair for? How long have you had it? Um, I've always had long hair. I was like that kid at school that was always getting told to get a haircut. Yeah. Um, Did you ever get, <laughs> when people come up to once you, like, hey, cute little girl. Once I actually got sent home from school, I, got told, I went to a pretty, like, I went to like a, like a strict, like, private all school. boys private school, and yeah. like, the, the teachers used to always, like, send me down to the local barbershop. I'd never go, I'd just go home, but... Yeah, so uh, I've always had long hair. I always idolized rock stars, and they always had long hair. So it's so funny you say that because, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying because we're on, you know, on camera, but same thing. I idolized rock stars. I had long hair when I was in high school, and they made me cut it. I actually got kicked out of the you school. You went the chop, really? Yeah, I went yeah. to like an all boys like school my freshman year. Got kicked out of it because I cared about the main. I feel much. like I have nothing. In, <laughs> you guys have so much in common. You've got I lovely hair too. Like, no, you're good. You've you're good. You guys live the same life. What am I doing here? <laughs> so how do you feel, man? I mean, got just got off the stage. I feel the ball, you know. Very. I feel amazing, but. I was the crowd was inc- incredible and like you know all ages and I mean, I'm a big Christmas fan so I was also just like it's nice to yeah, play like sure. a Christmas you know did you ever th- thing. think that you would be here like at a show like this with this many people no, no I mean I, you dream about it but you never actually think it's going to happen I guess so it was uh, even just walking through the hallways and seeing yeah. like the Golden State Warriors up on the wall and stuff like that it's so cool and the the room is just massive it's a, it's amazing it right. is school me real quick because you were uh, is this true that you were on was it American Idol like it was like way back right well I auditioned when I was 16 but I didn't right. get through right um, so yeah and then I kind is, that, of, is it also real now I mean you know, I mean, yeah I mean it, it's c- later yeah it's kind of like <laughs> It's funny those shows. Like if you audition, it it seems like a it's one day of your life, but then sure. it, it's like a it's like a glitch on your on your musical career because yeah. people always <laughs> remember it because it's, it's it's in the public eye. But not really, man. I just went on a different journey. After that, I sort of went out and I sort of just started writing songs and and did it you know, make you want to like it, work it, it made me want to learn about myself and figure out what I wanted to do and what kind of music I wanted to do because at that point. At 16, yeah. I really had no idea, and I, yeah. you know, I could probably sing a couple of songs all the way through, and that was hold me up. But yeah, so now I'm doing that. Can, can you do that one more time? Yeah, no. that was good. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude, is there like a point because I don't know? We all get nervous, right? I mean, yeah. Especially when there's a lot of people. You say, oh no, it's gonna be fine. But do you? I mean, are you? Like, I get nervous. Yeah. I mean, I think it's it's normal to have nerves. I think if you sure. don't have nerves, then you mustn't care. I get really nervous. But before yeah. performance, do you have like before a show? I do a chant. You yeah, I mean? it's like you do? Chi, like I harness my chi. That's I do. good. That's really good. It's really, it's real. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, I think yeah, you yeah. have to. I think you have to have like some kind of routine. What's, <laughs> what's your do. before show routine? I mean, it's super weird. I can't tell you. No, no, I want to. I do you like? It's not that weird. Pep talk. Do you? I mean, yeah. I mean, I have a pep talk with my band, and then like either like you know say a little prayer or like sure. just do something. Like I have this steamer, and I like do a certain amount of do you really press with this steamer thing, and do all these vocal warm ups. Um, but like it's great if you get in a routine because then. It sets you up, and then if you have a good show, then it's like, okay, cool. As long as I do those things, mm-hmm. I will be ready for the show. Um, Vocal so yeah. steamer. <laughs> Vocal steamer. We need to get idea. one of those. I'll give you one for so Christmas. I heard a rumor that you had the most, uh, I don't want to say complicated, but kind of complicated, most uh, demanding writer. Is that true? Just for your dressing room, really? Jingle Ball, you wanted M and M's, only the yellow ones, Starburst. Where no does this rumor ones. come from? I think that's probably just I always. Requ- I, I've never requested anything like that, so that's definitely just I know, a rumor. I was rumor. making that up, but do you request but, um, anything? <laughs> but I think I would love to one day. One day I'm just going to start requesting random things just you to should. see if I could get away with it, you know? Conrad, you totally I, mean, I hear the Rolling Stones writer is crazy. I'm going to be honest with you, dude. If I was a celebrity like yourself, ask for it. You know, I was thinking about today. We had I mean, we had a lovely ride today. No, Jingle Ball have done an amazing job. But I was like, we should really start pushing the limits a little more, you know, get a, get a few things you happening. You said you want to be a rock star. Hello. You know, a few pool <laughs> toys in the room. Strip maybe a, a baby, maybe a baby pool that we could just swim in before we go. Maybe just a baby. <laughs> I love it. So just a small child in the room. What's next for Conrad? Uh, next, I am. Well, I'm going to London for Christmas to see my family. I haven't had a to see my family all year, so I'm going to be doing that. Then I'm going on tour with Jess Glynn around America oh, nice. in January, which is going to be great, and um, putting my my new single out. Um, and just just working, playing shows, and putting out music, and trying awesome. to you know. 
Spread be, the word. Be honest with me. When people say, when they try to like mimic your accent, does that like really get annoying? No, not at all. I'm a very uh, helpful okay. person, and if I you need lessons, that. I can help you. Hey, it, this this accent does wonders. It How's gets that? you into gets you into bars. It gets you girls. It's, it's especially does in this it? country, it, it does well. So hey, if mate. I had an accent, you, I can get girls. You could get girls. Hmm. <laughs> I will try that out. Well, but you got to be in a different country. You know what I mean? You oh, oh, because uh, yeah. If you came down to Australia, you'd get lots of men or girls or whatever. Well, well, yeah. Anyway, let's not go there, guys. <laughs> yeah. Bring back. Hey, Either PG. Way. <laughs> Either way, backstage, uh, <laughs> Wild 94.9 Jingle Ball, Conrad Soul. Thanks a lot for Thank the time. Thank you so much. Thank and you. congratulations on everything. Cheers. Thanks.